Hello everybody, I'm back! So today I tried to film a video right here, but it was really dumb. I didn't really even have a true idea. It was not going to be a vlog or anything because I want to get start doing videos again. Um, planned out ones and stuff. Um, but I just don't have any ideas and it's just difficult when I only have an iPhone uh, to do things with. But um, hopefully in the near future we'll be able to bring something out. But I am going to walk to this garden that I've been told about multiple times and I love gardens so it's supposed to have weird statues. I think it's called Gilgal Garden, which sounds crazy as well. I was gonna drive, but I'm just gonna walk. It's only like 20 minutes, so. And it's chilly and cold outside, and so that's nice as well. So, I am walking in the weather today. It's a bit spooky. Look, it's just. Okay, so. It's really cold. I mean, it's really not that cold. But I have this thing called Raynard Syndrome. And I get bad circulation in my hands and in my feet. I'm wearing shoes and socks. And my feet are becoming numb. So, and my hands are okay. They're just cold. But, keep you updated on that one. The leopards going into the garden. Thank you. So I'm in the garden and I found a ring and I kind of want to keep it, but I'm afraid that I can't because, like, what if it's the gardens? So this place is quite interesting. There's a lot of strange statues. It's kind of what I would have in my bedroom when I was 16 years old. This is, if I could design my garden when I was 16, this is probably what it would look like. Um, as you can see, there's just some grasshopper and a head. And then over here, I don't think I can step on that or they'll sue me. Um, over here, I think this is my favorite part. I just like the body parts in the mossy grass um, and the two lovebirds are over there. I always love when people come and like vlog with me. Thank you. I'm afraid to step on the right written words because they'll probably hurt me. Um, at the very tip of that is a wire angel Moroni. So that's fancy. So I just drove to Gilgal Gardens, that garden that we were just at earlier, because while I was there, my phone died and I couldn't record anymore. So I just hung out there for a little bit longer and then I left. Um, so I'm just arriving back here because I wanted to show you the rest of it. And I need to tell you a freaky story that happened at work because I talked to this woman about Gilgal Gardens, but I'll tell you that once we're in there because it'll make it more spooky. Okay, we are back at the garden and I have plenty of battery life. Um, I want to just give you a nice tour of the, oh, let me tell you the story of the woman at work. So I was at the register and this woman came in and I was just told, oh yeah, I just moved to Salt Lake about two weeks ago or three weeks ago and uh, um, just been exploring I went to this garden Gilgal garden and I uh, is weird and there's like weird statues and this and that and so I was talking to her and she seemed like pretty interested and like wanting to know like wow I've never heard of this place before like tell me about it and so I was telling her there's like a head of a statue and like arms and legs it's this part right here I was telling her about this and she seemed quite interested then she left, she's like, well, I have to check that out. And then I was like, okay. She left. 30 minutes later, she came back to the store and she was checking out at another person's register. And I walked past her as she was walking out and she turned to me and she's like, 
so you liked the head, the decapitated head statue? And I was like, oh, I mean, it wasn't like decapitated. It was just like a head, like a head of a, a statue of a head. And she's like, and that made you feel good? I was like, well, I mean, it was like weird and spooky and strange. And she's like, and you like that? That made you feel good? And I was like, oh gosh. Um, I was like, I mean, I like weird and creepy things sometimes. She's like, and she looks at me and she goes, yeah. I'm gonna go do incense and then she walks out of the store and I was like oh sorry for being a witch and casting a spell on you because didn't mean to um, but yeah anyways I guess I spooked her <laughs> um, but yeah I want to show you these places this is so weird there's like two heart statues and there's like hands coming down because we all need someone to hold our hearts. So apparently an old Mormon guy lives in that house and he did all these. I'm so happy I'm the only one here right now. Like, look at this. We're having a good time. Um. Okay, yeah, this is what I want to show you. I was also really scared to step on these things, but I decided against it. Like this. It's a Sphinx of Joseph Smith. Hey, guys, like, how you doing? Yeah. We're just celebrating um, me coming to Salt Lake City. Um, Joseph's being really kind to me, and I'm making a lot of good friends. No, stop it. I'm not gonna tell him that. <laughs> there she is. The one we've been waiting for. If you ever are in Salt Lake City, I'd recommend just coming and taking a look. It's free, it's open, and it's here. I, this is where, when I came last time, like in here, underneath, or right here, there's this ring was here, and I saw that, I was like, oh wow, I want that. So I got it, I took it, and I got scared, and then I covered it, and it's still here, so I think it means it's mine. Because it looks really good on me. I think I'm done here. I'm gonna go home. I have to go to the library real fast and return some books because they're overdue. I'm terrible at that. I'm terrible at bringing library books on time. I didn't even read a page of the two books. I only read half of the first book, so I have to go renew that one and then bring the other two back. I'll get those on another day. I realized I didn't put an ending to my video so I just finished editing it and now I have to tack this right on the back but thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed it and I'll be back with more videos um if you enjoy these things you can subscribe if you want to but if not that's fine too bye